In a vision, the Pope saw the church was about to fail. And suddenly, St. Dominic threw himself against the wall of the church to steady it. This persuaded the Pope that the Dominican friar would become a powerful supporter of the Catholic Church. Great leaders have a vision, but they also have a plan. St. Dominic's plan was to send out the friars, and within four years, they were teaching at every major university in Europe. Hard to believe, but the friars are celebrating their 800th anniversary by returning to the vision of founders preaching on college campuses. The Dominican friars are experiencing a boom in vocations, with a record number of vocations in 40 years in the province of St. Joseph. Even with the success the friars are experiencing, we still have tremendous challenge. College students are abandoning their faith in record numbers, I'm sad to say. 27% of them have no religious affiliation. That is not good, but we're not discouraged. Because with Christ in his hand, the Catholic Church is the greatest team ever created. The students need help, and we need to coach them up, giving students the tools they need to understand their faith and grow in virtue. But the friars have a secret weapon, the rosary. St. Dominic was given the rosary by Our Lady. You don't say the rosary because you want necessarily something to happen. You say the rosary because it brings you closer to the Lord. When you think about the words of the Hail Mary or the Our Father, there's no way in this world you can be the same if you say it on a daily basis. The friars have learned this. That's why the rosary is the most powerful weapon the church has. <laughs>